A towering wicker structure is being erected at Butzer Ancient Farm near Waterlooville. No, nope, it's not for a production of Jack and the Beanstalk, nor is it a Bronze Age dwelling. This structure is being built in the shape of a giant man, or a wicker man if you like, for the Celtic Festival of Beltane. I went to see the build. In the middle of this quiet field, two tremendous wooden legs, confidently planted on a small hillock. They are the base of Butzer Ancient Farm's wicker man. We've built a timber framework onto it. This is just how we've done it, but we've built a timber framework and then we've been back in our yard making hurdles to clad it. So um, different years they do it differently, but that's how we've decided to do it and it's going quite well so far. So far, the team have spent around four days on site and another week making the woven hurdles that clad the outside of the structure. And while it all looks as though it's coming together nicely, it's actually the team's first attempt at creating a wicker man. Well, it's the first time we've done it and we're just learning it as we go. And, you know, working, working blind, really. And we're just working out in our mind what we want and we're just putting it together and hope it goes together right. The success of the project then is probably thanks to Kenneth's 67 year experience making hurdles. When I started in 1950, an old colonel in our village said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to work for Mr Loader hurdle making. Oh, you don't want to do that job, he said. That's a dying trade. And I'm still going here 67 years later. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a way of life. It's not not a fortune to be earned in it, but um, it's just a healthy uh, way of life, working in the woods and making hurdles up. And it seems his love of working with wood is infectious. I love it because it's probably one of the oldest woodworking trades around. It the earliest woven panel made of, ha of hazel goes back right back to the Neolithic and they found that in the Somerset levels um, and since uh, they think coppicing has been around in this country since about the Bronze Age it's just lovely to be part of a tradition that goes back so long and humans have done for so long and it benefits wildlife but it benefits us so it's, it's a really nice thing to be doing. The workers are completing the body which is filled with timber and kindling and then placing the head filled with straw on the top. In just a few days' time, this towering structure will be complete. Oh, yeah, It'll rise 30 feet into the air and be finished off with a Viking-style helmet, also made out of wood. After that, it'll stand here for about a month until the Celtic Festival of Beltane, when the whole thing will be satellite in a dramatic showcase of flame. The Beltane Festival is being held at the end of April, when all this hard work will go up in smoke. Just as it's getting dark, it'll be going up in flames. So it's quite a sight, actually. The flames go about 60 feet in the air. I used to be here and see it all go up in flames, all our hard work, but um, that's, that's how it's going.